Here it is about six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to head out and I'm on vacation this week and see if I can do some exploring on the KGC, the Lost Confederate Gold. I don't have the rest of my team with me, Kenny Hicks and Lewis Hicks, but I'm going to do some exploring on my own and see if I can find, find some stuff. cut back on some of those beers every once in a while basically we're trying to find large growth trees rocks with symbols uh, anything that looked like it may stand out of the ordinary how the out of the ordinary something that stand out differently trees you know anything that's old growth you know that has to be at least 100 years old 150 years old and examine them for any markings or signs. Um, the, um, well, here's an oddly shaped tree. I don't think it's, I don't know. It's pretty good size, so it's got a hook coming out of it. It's pointing that way. There's one with a fork on it. It looks like it's pointing that way, so. I think we'll just go that way then. It's probably been an hour since the last time I had an entry on this thing. And I just found two massive old trees here. So it looked like the trail and the signs from that other one led this away. And this looks like the grand opening to something or other. I don't know, but these trees are just huge. I wish I had a a rope measure with me or something. I mean, a fella could live in that one. 
when I was talking about trying to find old growth trees, you know, I found them. I wish, you know, there's no way I could do justice with the camera on this, but, uh, you know, maybe if I stood off and, and, and took a picture of myself, I mean, this tree definitely goes back 150 plus. So we're getting to an old growth forest. That's good. good Let's sign. check out these rocks and then we'll go that away. I feel like that's the way we are to travel. At least it's open terrain. Well, it's probably been about 30 minutes since the last entry. Went through that little open section and it led back into this forest. It's deep and it's beautiful. Uh, I guess we'll be going that away. And, uh, Continue the hunt. Uh, any trees that we see that's good size trees, just stop and examine them. Or anything that's twisted funny, that no one's twisted funny, but it's not old enough. So let's just keep on pushing forward. Here's some good rocks that we've walked up upon to explore. Um, there's some more down here, so. Probably nothing here, but it don't hurt to take a few moments just to check it out and see and get up on no copper heads or nothing. So we'll check these rocks out along through here and then we'll get back on it. Now that tree's got a got a nice little crook in it, but uh I've seen lots of them up here today that's got those shapes in it, but uh, it's not old enough. It can't be old enough to be a, a symbol that was set up by the KGC, Knights of the Confederate Gold. It's got a bend in it. It doesn't. It just doesn't seem like it's old enough though. I've seen lots of those today, but they're all about the same size. So let's keep on going. We'll keep on going back out in there and see if we can find some more old growth. Found the right many of them, and then then they thin back out to here. So we just gotta keep on getting yeah. it. Here's something interesting. It's not old enough. <laughs> that reminds me of something other. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Let's keep on getting it. Here I am again. Hey, it's got, I'm getting so hot. It's so humid in here in these mountains. Can't even hardly see all my glasses. Still looking for trees, still looking for rocks. Found a heart shaped rock. This is what I'm calling it. So there's some big rocks over there. And I think we'll just start down on the other side of this mountain. Little, little mountains, whatever you call them. Up and down, up and down. And we'll go a little further. It's beginning to come up another rain again. And man, it's hot. Um, I found nothing on that big rock over there. I looked all around it. I've then gotten lost a couple times. So I've got to be careful. Sometimes a treasure hunter can look for years and years. Never find a sign or a treasure or a symbol, anything. But every once in a while, you can run upon a treasure that's in nature. And I just stumbled upon something that's more of a treasure of nature. Let's see if we can get down in here. 
about going over the mountain. Get up on this little cliff right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on this area. We're way up here, I know that. Pretty little waterfall, hundreds of feet down. Wow. Makes me dizzy. It's been a while since we've been at the falls. I'm starting back up on the other side of a little hill, and I got lucky. I stub up on something other that is not natural. There's spider webs. These rocks were put here. And you got them in three sections like this. And you may not know it, but that's fort. That was a fort at one time where they had put up. And I guess if troops was to come this way up through this hollow, they had a, a fort where they could shoot at the Confederate soldiers. There'd be some really good metal detecting to be done around here. If feller wants to come back, we can come back in the, in the winter a little bit. Of course, it's all filled in right here, but it's still soft. Where all this was dug out at one time. And then you got, a, you got so far I've counted three. But if you're going up, it looks like there'll be some more. So they just shoot right over top of each other's heads. And see, here's another one. I bet these woods is loaded down with these things. And if that's the case, there was some cemeteries around here too. Someone's probably where there was some battles or skirmishes or something that took place. There's a big old rock up there. There's another one up there. It's four. These things just went put someone in come out here and build this stuff out in the middle of nowhere for nothing. And there's definitely no farmland around here. So it's quite interesting. I don't know how many more years I got left in me in this rough mountain hiking. I'm getting old. But uh, I'm going to try to get as much of it in as I can before I get too old anyway. Hopefully some young guys will take over and continue the search for the lost Confederate gold. It's a good hobby. You know what? There's another one.
you know what, I bet they had a, I guarantee you, they had a camp up here on the top. This whole area right here, they fortified in, in case troops come from down there at that giant river and was to come through here, they could hit them off. This ain't the way I had planned on going today, but, uh, yeah, there's some good metal detecting to be done around here, no doubt about it. Well, guys, whew, I think I went out too far. Anyway, just look what I just stumbled up on. An old cabin. This would be a good place to take a break. I know I'm so hot and tired. That's pretty neat. It's an old cabin. I think what I'm going to do, I haven't found too much old growth. So I think I'm going to try to work my way back to where I originally seen them old growth trees and go to the opposite side of them this time and see if I can uh, maybe stumble upon some more. And we're getting a little bit closer. Wow. Well, I haven't gone too much further. I guess I probably went, I don't know, a few hundred yards or more or whatever, and then found another one. Huh. Well, it's just a pretty little setup here. It's not very big at all, but there's a little cabin here, and that was a little fireplace. That's really neat. It's just getting late in the evening. Maybe get lucky. You never can tell. It's possible. But this is a really cool little looking old cabin. So someone had them a pretty good size one here. There goes a deer. Long as it ain't a bear. We don't care. I gotta try to work my way back. I don't know if there could be clues in this area or it's just a homestead. I know that uh, those Civil War forts that I had seen earlier, probably about two miles from here. So I'd say there's probably folks living here. There's one right there. Big in there. Give it a quick look over and see if there's any clues. No tree unturned, right? Hi, Georgia. I've looked off in the distance. I'm getting sidetracked again, but I can't help it and found another cabin. So we're probably about 30 minutes away from that last one. I don't know if I'll make it out of here tonight or not. This looks like a lot like the one we were at earlier. Don't tell me I'm done winning a circle. No, it's different. I wonder if they don't look like us. <laughs> well, it's just really amazing. These are pretty good finds all of their own. Whether I don't find anything else, if I keep this in my memory banks, memory banks in my brain, these would be good little areas to get back to. Do some metal detecting. I'm sure these folks didn't have gold and silver. But you never know. You might find an old gun or something other. Or something. This is a pretty good little size cabin. Makes you think about the people that lived here. Plant, there goes another deer. Seem like he's too scared of me. Huh. 
I don't have to see the old Bigfoot. Well, just follow this little creek. We'll just keep following this creek on down and see where it leads to. There's some helicopters flying over. Who knows? This area may have pot growing in it or something, though. You never can tell, but we'll just keep on going here just a little bit and run up on something, moonshine steel or something. Some more of these really large trees. Trees are real important to look for markings. That one could be period, I don't know, but it's it's definitely large enough to fit to to fit. So just keep a keep a going. Extremely large old tree. That definitely fits the bill of being the right period for any KGC symbols or signs that could be on it. This thing's massive. So you just have to keep looking. And see if we can locate anything that might be on them. I don't. That right there. I thought I found something there for a minute. It's just where the bark came off. Well, just keep looking. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of old growth trees right in here. This is a real big one here. Just keep it going a little bit to see if we, there's a big one over there. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Oh boy, jackpot. Yeah. Well, I think we found a tree that's got some markings on it, finally. It's been a long time since we've seen one of these. Let's see if we can make anything out of it on camera so we can study it later. I think it was one of them airplanes. That's pretty weird, airplanes being this far back out. This tree is probably definitely old enough to be a marking tree. And there's something right here that leads up to it. It's coming up to this. Is that a K? He's definitely got some information on it. That's interesting right there. Is that a castle? This tree is huge. I can't get my arms around it. It looked like two people. Look like it take two people to put their arms around this one. So it's definitely, it's definitely old enough. And it's got some symbols on it. I can just get a little footage. It's a big tree. All right. This is the one we've been looking for. Wish I had a big ladder so I could get up in it to 
might see what else could be up there because it is huge. I mean, it's big. Okay, all right, let's start trying to work our way back and see if we can get back. Take a few hours to get back, but we can get, study this. I think we're going to have a clue that's going to help lead us to the lost Confederate gold.